A dashboard is the panel of instruments and controls facing the driver of a vehicle. Driving a company's business, the dashboard should give you a condensed summary which allows you to recognize critical areas and take necessary actions to keep the business moving in the right direction, provided you know your destination. A dashboard without a clearly defined strategy for the organization will be useless. Only if you know the destination, if you have a strategy, you can derive the right set of key performance indicators and arrange them in such a way that they show the current position of the organization, highlight deviations and allow you to make necessary corrections. Setting up a dashboard, we need to go through a couple of steps. First, we have to define the organizational units to be monitored. Then, we have to select a set of relevant key performance indicators. Next, we have to define for each KPI the ideal, planned and worst value. As we want to visualize the status of the company or organizational units, we need to define for each KPI a traffic light function. Once we have done this, we can fill in the actual value and traffic light and arrange the KPIs to form the dashboard. In the first step, we need to define the group of organizational units to be monitored. We need to select a group where you can apply the same set of key performance indicators. And of course we need to select organizational units where sufficient business data are available in a breakdown to these individual units. Examples could be departments with a similar scope of work sales departments, R&D departments, a company or group of companies or operations in different countries. In the second step, we need to select a set of relevant key performance indicators. Selecting the right set of KPIs is the most critical task in business performance management. Without a clear vision and defined strategy for an organization, any KPI will lose most of its value. So we can use available methods like a strategy map to document the strategy and derive the KPIs from there. Never select a performance indicator just because it is made available from your business intelligence software reporting or other sources. In the previous presentations, we already have developed a set of quite generic performance indicators. We can use a selection or all of them in a dashboard depending on the actual strategy and relevance to the company strategy. Once we have selected the set of KPIs, we need to define for each KPI the ideal, planned and worst value. Usually it's easy to define the planned value, but monitoring the status of the organizations, the actual value could be above or below the planned value. We should define a worst case and an ideal case for this KPI. So we need to define three figures the planned value, a worst case value and an ideal value. Let's take as a typical key performance indicator the order income. Usually setting up the budget of the company, you know the planned order income for the business period. We then could define a lower limit, for example, a deviation of more than minus 15% as a critical value because 15% is within the forecast uncertainty. If the actual order income is more than 15% below the planned order income, it's a critical situation.
The ideal value could be defined as, for example, 10% above the plant figure because we know once we exceed the plant order income by more than 10%, then we would achieve an increase in market share. For other key performance indicators, the plant worst and ideal figures could be defined by the relationships we have developed in the previous presentations. As we want to visualize the status of the company, we will define for each KPI a traffic light function. For the plant figure and actual figures above the plan, we introduce a green color code. For figures below the worst case figure, we introduce a red color code and between the plant figure and the worst case figure, we introduce a yellow color code. The ideal figure could be assigned a golden color. This is what we call the traffic light function. The meaning is once the KPI goes into red, we need to take action. A yellow color means caution and the green color means we are in plan or above plan. Gold color could be a benchmark, either an internal benchmark corresponding to the strategic targets of the company or an external benchmark. In addition to the color, we can also assign points to each color code. Now we can fill in for each unit and KPI the actual traffic light and arrange the KPIs on a dashboard. Using our example, we arrange the KPIs in the following form. We group them to different business perspectives. And as you can see, this will form the balanced scorecard. So the balanced scorecard is one of the tools for business performance management. As we want to monitor a group of organizational units, we arrange the KPIs in a table form. And for each unit and each KPI, we can now fill in the color code. This will form the dashboard or performance chart. Now we can look at a row to see the current status of an individual organizational unit, or we can look at a column to see the overall status of a specific key performance indicator. As we assigned a value to each of the colors, we can sum up in rows and columns and can compare either different organizational units or different specific key performance indicators. Finally, I show you a real-life example implemented in Excel where you can see the status of 15 organizational units with 240 KPIs on one page. A dashboard is an ideal condensed summary to show the current position of organizations at one glance. With a clear strategy and a proper defined set of key performance indicators, it can help to drive the business in the right direction and to achieve the organization's strategic targets. Any CPM, BPM software is just a tool to manage condense, extract and display data. The real effort lies in the translation of the organization's strategy into a suitable set of key performance indicators and to define realistic and plausible thresholds to monitor the performance.